This is Filipina Ghost Cousins only on Keep TV. What's wrong Camille? It's your turn today to tell the story. 24 hours earlier. Kumusta ka na nanay? Hi Anik, sorry I haven't talked to you lately. Your sister, the nurse, has been taking me around the Philippines and we flew to Hong Kong already. She is a good daughter. What kind of job do you have? Well, Crab Shack gave me and some of my cousins a great job. So you are a nurse. I'm proud of you. Not your cousin Gretchen always out causing riffraff and getting into monkey business. When you marry a doctor? When you have children? When do you come back and take me to Singapore, like our sister? She is good daughter. Nay, I am not a nurse. What? You better have a good job there like our sister. I got a job, on television, I hunt ghosts. I'm a ghost hunter. A ghost hunter? Why? All your sister are nurses. Your aunties are nurses. You, you you want to be a ghost hunter? Do you see any ghosts in this family? It's that Gretchen's fault, always up to no good. Ayoko na that crab shack. I told you not to get involved with her. Always the young the devil's work. Ghost hunter I. Wait until your nurse sisters hear about this. I'm calling Gretchen's mother about this. I don't know why I let you go to USA. I should have made you marry that doctor, then you'd be a nurse in Canada already. USA is bad. Ghost hunter my ass. You come home now and marry that doctor, stay home, give me five grandkids and take me to Singapore, like your nurse sister. She is a good daughter. Ghost hunter hunter. You are ilo loco loco pineapple crazy stupid in the head. What is wrong with you? Ghost hunter. Jeez. Ilol. Ayoko na. So what are you going to do Camille? We have been blessed by God in our profession. You cannot leave us. I'll talk to Pablo. I don't know. I need to eat some tejo. Do we have tejo? I hope we are not all out because I'm having an urge to kick ass. Oh, shit. Something wick this way comes. Let's rock. Is this the end of the ghost cousins? Will Camille go back to the Philippines and marry the doctor? Tune in January to find out. Not today, Satan. Not today. I'm here to eat taho and kick ass. And now I'm all out of taho. Let's rock Satan one last dance. I have the full body armor of God to protect me. You gun done messed up for the last time. That was perfect Mari Floor. Here is my son, Dr. Bezelbub. I think the two will make a marvelous couple. Such cute children they will have. Thank you. I hope I can get my trip to Singapore. That is all I want. She'll get her trip all right. I will guarantee that. I'm going to the Philippines. I have to do what my mother says. Not without me. Ladies, put on the full body armor of God, this is going to get rough. I'm not letting you fight this battle alone. Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. I will not let you get married. You were called to fight evil and defend Maine and all points betwixt. I am going with you. We were made to eat Teho and kick ass. Right now I am out of Teho. You are not marrying anyone, but a soldier of God. I won't let it happen. Not in this millennia. Kuya, that SUV just rolled down the window, can you see what they want? We have ghosts. Kuya, when the light turns green, let them win the race. Well we're here miss. Enjoy your stay in the Philippines, and don't let those ghosts bother you. They are seen here weekly on this street. Those ghosts are the least of my worries. I have to face my mother. Nye, I'm home. What are you doing? Nothing, Anok. 
Just limampu years ago, I'm my uncle, and his girlfriend died on the street drug racing and people always say that he and his girlfriend have been seen racing cars. I don't believe it, though. Oh, I see you brought all your ghost friends with you. Even, Gretchen, ayoko na, si Gretchen. She is a troublemaker always into monkey business. We're not here to talk to you about how sweet, kind and awesome Gretchen is, she has awesomeness ability Gretchen S style that no one else has. I want to tell you I am not marrying your choice for me. You will marry him and that is the end of the story. Diba? You understand. You will marry him and take me to Singapore. Now, let me introduce you to your husband. Like it or not you will marry him. Oh, you two again. I thought we would never see each other after the last battle. Where is Violent A? She has something to tell you. She is not going to marry you so bugger off you wanking Adam Ant wannabe loser. And just who do you think you are you skirt wearing Academy of Bad Arts Bay Leaf skirt do isn't match the shirt wallaby? I'm, I'm, I'm her fiancé that is who. You want to dance old man? You on whose army, might I add? It's your funeral. Well now that you ask, my army, my warriors of God, I apologize, Violent A couldn't make it today as she is holding down the fort in Wiscasset, but she sends her nutcracker wishes to you. You, I'm proud of you for what you said, but, you now have to prove you love her even if you meant to save her life. By the way, where is Camille? I know where she went. There is no time to waste. We have to get to her before that Adam Ant wannabe starts singing to her. I have a hankering for Tahoe and kicking ass now and I am all out of Tahoe. Let's go. You gone done messed up. For what? A trip to Singapore. That's messed up. 1895 Intramuros Manila Before the Spanish-American war sailors from China and Spain sailed towards Manila to sell and trade wares. For the Spanish, the final stop was Intramuros, in the walled city of Manila on the Pasig River. It was here, a Chinese sailor named Chong met a beautiful Filipina named Estrella and he was instantly captured with her beauty. After a few months he would constantly arrive in port and bring her gifts. Being young himself, he wanted to save money for the two to be married. When he was in port, the two would hide away in the lighthouse in Manila Bay. Stare at the stars, write graffiti to express their love for each other and plan for their future. At this time, there was a Spanish sailor, who too was smitten with love towards Estrella, and he vowed that if he didn't have her no man on earth would. So one night, while the two were gazing lovingly into each other's eyes, the Spanish sailor crept up to the two and pulled a gun on Chong and took him outside of the lighthouse and shot him. Once he rid himself of all competition, he ran up to the lighthouse to consummate a relationship with Estrella. Unfortunately, for him. Estrella heard the gunshot and as soon as the Spaniard arrived she jumped out of the lighthouse and screamed, Hindi, Kita Mahal. I do not love you. Camille, are you here? Camille, answer me. There you are. We've been so worried about you. Hey everyone, I found her. She's up here. Camille, you are not safe here. We have to get out of here. Hurry, let's go. And just where do you think you are going to go? No, 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 no. She is staying with me. She is getting married per order of her mother. Come, Camille, your fiancé is waiting. Her fiancé is right here, and that is where she is going to stay. Now buzz off you, jack off. If there a problem, the tan... Did you say they tan? I heard it. He said they tan. Woodolf the wed knows Waindeer would be happy. Stop it. I don't have all day for this jabberwocky. Camille is marrying Wu Sipper here. Now come on, let's go. They are going nowhere, except to their wedding. Remember who God brings together let no man, or you, tear apart. Off with you too. Now, if you don't mind us being rude, we have an engagement party to go to. So adieu, parting is such sweet sorrow. I hate, I hate, I hate that Pablo Delacruz. I think he is a stand-up guy. 
Look Phaeton what my fiat hey wot. You two must be engaged very fast to end this. No one is to utter where we are. The coconut trees have ears and report to Satan. Good will triumph over evil. Tomorrow night you engage. Ten days you marry. Then you must make your stand. Put on the full body armor of God. These are the days of Elijah. Fight the good fight. If you love her, if you want to save her, ask her now to marry you. I guess it came to this. Joanne and I are now the last two to get engaged. I don't know if we should be outraged or what. I guess the only thing for us to do is eat taho and kick ass. I'm just here to kick ass because I'm all out of taho. Nah, I just want to kick ass. Camille, I have loved you from the first time I set my eyes on you. I have traveled all over Maine and all parts in between and to me there is no one more beautiful in the state of Maine, will you marry me? Really, I thought you liked Joanne more than I. Yes, yes, I'll marry you. I'm sorry Joanne. Yes, yes, yes. Well great, now let's get to the hotel. What happened to Crab Shack and Gretchen? It's like they just floated off. Well, post haste, we'll find them at the hotel. Okay, you two. Do not be more than an arm's length apart at all. If you are not an arm apart and cannot see each other trouble will begin. Hurry, to the hotel. Well let's go, my wife to the hotel. I hope I can kiss you tonight. Sorry Po, this is as far as I am going to take you. You need to walk to your hotel from here. I guess we walk from here. Tabi Tabi Po. Tabi Tabi Po. Tabi Tabi Po. What are you saying? I'm confused. I'm saying, Tabi Tabi Po, it means excuse me, which is a respectful phrase to say out loud when chartering uninhabited territory, it is aimed towards spirits, elements in nature or human ghosts so they won't harm us. Oh, wait, here comes a moto. Well let's start walking. We got a kilometer to go. I guess luck was on our side. Thank you for picking us up, but why did you do it down the road and what happened to the woman in your trike? Sorry Bong, these woods are haunted so I didn't want to stop there. There is a story of a woman in white that haunts the woods. This is really a nice room. I like it. Hello. Did you forget something in your trike? Too bad we can't stay. I gotta get out of here. Camille wait, don't leave me. That will learn her. Okay, you come here. No, your mother. Who do you think I'm talking to? Yes, you. You moron. I got a job for you. Stop crying. I haven't even asked. Now go to Barakay and bring her here to me. Don't let that skirt wearing Sergeant Rock Templar wannabe stop you either. Don't come back until you have her. Camille, what do you think you are doing? We are supposed to stay together. Do you want trouble? Good evening. Okay, enough of these silly games and fake engagements, tomfoolery, malarkey, jabberwocky, and lollygaggling. Satan is tired of this hogwash. It's time for you to go and get married. I've come to collect you. The only person she is going to marry is me. You can tell whoever your boss is to bugger off. She ain't going with you. Not make like a tree and get out of here. I need to free Willie when we get home. I don't have to listen to you. Now Camille let's make like the wind and post has get you to your wedding. Your groom is waiting. You don't want to ruin your wedding by making your beloved wait at the altar, now do you? Hurry, let's dump this zero and get you with a hero. Do you not understand the words coming out of my mouth? Or do I have to knock the yellow off your teeth and loan you a Q-tip or something? She is marrying me so make like a toilet and flush. There. Sometimes all it takes is someone to U-T their foot down. Now let's get back to the room and consummate our marriage. You were so brave. I know now we will marry. In the face of an aswing you showed no fear and it ran, 
such a man. That is right. I showed her my war face. I got a war face. It's nothing for the woman I love. Is it me or have we kept walking past this volcano several times? Yeah we have. Keith is too lazy and cheap to get another set. What? Did you forget to bring someone back with you? I got a lot of stress right now planning a marriage, destroying those ghost cousins, and now I got you. What is your excuse this time? Another penguin ate your lunch. Ha! Huh. Hurry up and speak. She has a copri as a protector. Did they see him? Tell me everything. This is not good. You are so brave. I think I'm falling in love with you. Whatever you are doing, don't stop. Well, my love. It's the law of the jungle that took over. Kill or be killed, eat or be eaten and I'm hungry. Wait look what's that? Oh, it's a piece of rope. I'm going to take it, I don't know why, but I'm going to take it. So don't worry. You got nothing to fear when you got Crab Claw fighting for the woman he loves. You are so sweet you give me cavities. Oh, no, here comes an aswang. Quick into the cave with Yamashita's secret code for gold on the entrance, maybe we can find gold inside. That was close. Maybe it didn't see us, but we will have to stay here until it is all clear and that thing leaves baby, I'm scared. We know you are in there and Satan, your fiancé, and I are not amused by these little games you are playing. Now, Camille, come out and meet your fiancé so you can get married and consummate the marriage in order to take your mother to Singapore. Sorry, Camille is not in here, it is only I, the giant that lives here. Now bugger off you two twits before I crush you with my large, enormous, humongous, gigantic and extraordinarily large anaconda of a big slim. Well, if you are so big, as you profess, and we all know what a Scotsman wears, or doesn't wear, I should say underneath the kilt, throw out one of your eyelashes so we can take it back to Satan. That will show them, he ain't nothing, but a scrawny little Scottish wheat stalk. Oh, a shite, that is huge. I bet his pecker is big too. Enough of this jabberwocky and malarkey. If you are such a giant, and we know you Scots aren't since our red-headed giants in Nevada were wiped out by the Paiute Nation. You are a scrawny little piece of sheep haggis. Give me your rebel yell if you have a pair of balls. I'll wait. How did you do that? That was loud and I think it scared them off. Must be karma that we are destined to marry tomorrow. We have to get back to the hotel where we are safe. Don't run away again. I got a question before we leave. What did she mean about what Scotsmen wear or don't wear underneath the kilt? I don't understand. It's true, it's true. Marriage is what brings us together today. Marriage, that blessed arrangement, that dream within a dream. And love, true love, will forever be forever. So treasure your love, like there is no tomorrow. I ask you, Camille do you Camille take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, from this day forward, for better or worse, richer or poorer, until you the end of your life? I do. You may kiss the bride. Kiss him already. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and kiss him. I'm tired of waiting to go to Singapore. Make it quick so we can go. I'm tired of this jabberwocky. Wow. I am impressed by how you take charge. I might have a few jobs for you in the future. You should see how I talk to Emma husband. I drove him to drink. I always get Emma away. You got great succubus skills, have you ever thought of becoming one? I have plenty of openings in the succubus department, I think you would do a great job. If it pays well, double it or not. I don't know what succubus does but it sounds like fun. Will you kiss him already? For <laughs> sake. I'm tired of waiting. Camille, no, don't marry him. I love you. What? Camille, are you okay? You were having a nightmare. I had a bad dream, it was our wedding and I had to marry him and all my mother thought about was a trip to Singapore and getting a job with the devil, I think as a bus driver. A succubus. It was horrible, but you came to my rescue. 
I love you. Let's consummate this marriage now. I can't wait. Look, Tong Yu Ah. I want Amway trip to Singapore. Now get them married. I'm tired of this. Now. Or get off the. Don't worry, I got a plan to stop the wedding tomorrow. Hello, this is Satan. Stop weeping, I haven't asked yet. Get me a weeping angel as soon as possible and send it to Borake. Post haste. There that will teach that Pablo who was in charge. No, not you. Me. Well, I better get Emma trip to Singapore out of this. Be with the way, you are kinda handsome when you take charge. Are you single? I'm single and ready to mingle. It's Christmas time and I can see your Christmas balls are jinga linga linging. Oops, I'm sorry. But let's hook up and party like it's 2025. You will get your trip all right if this plan doesn't work out. I think this is going to be the start of something beautiful. I'm going to go take a shower. I'll just be a moment. I can't wait until we marry. In just a few more hours, it seems like eternity. Miss you. Love you more, my husband. Camille, we need to talk. Camille, what is it? The tan is in the bathroom. Holy Angel Lobster Claw, what is that in the window? Oh, Padre Pablo de la Cruz, it's a weeping angel. Don't blink. Hold hands. What's going on in here? Are you two okay? Aggie, no, don't blink. You better hope I find them or you will pay for this. I'll personally smash you into so many pieces, I'll have my own private island. What do you mean? You sent them both back to the Crusades? Are you stupid or something? What part about sending that that so-called kilt-wearing boy only did you not understand? And, and you sent Pablo de la Cruz's fiancé back too? You gone done messed up. Now we're going to have Yahweh and his angels of light on us because of this. Oh, well. Here is your payment. Hold on my love. We will be there soon. Excuse, my brothers, my beautiful wife and I are off to Palestine for a pilgrimage. Do you know how far the city of Jerusalem is? Yes, Sahib. It is thirty-five shekels that way. Be careful there is an Frenchman named Pablo de Lacras, the butcher of Babylon. He doesn't like Arabs. Thank you, Sahib. Come, my love. We've got to hurry our camel is double parked. Wait, aren't you the famous vicar and advocate, part-time physician Gajadhar Singh Kool? We need help to get us back to 2023. We are supposed to be married in a few hours. We've been in this desert for five days now. Yes, but don't tell anyone. I'm a scientist in my part-time, and I created time travel. So no I'm a time bandit. I can't get you home. I have so much thievery to do and so little time. Let's make this fast. Stop, you heathens or I shall taunt you and fart in your general direction. What is your quest? My name is Lobster Claw and this is my wife Camille. We have come a long ways away. My wife is the cousin of Pablo de la Cruz's wife. We seek his assistance and safety. You better tone it down there, son, and show us a little more respect than that. Who do you think you are coming up and you're all ready to fight with your cannons blazing? We've been here since 9 a.m. and we gotta listen to you people every hour or so begging for help. If you want help you better bring it down a notch or two or you will see yourself in the dungeon for, I don't know, the next several hundred years or so. So, if you want us to help you, you better show us a little more respect than that. What in the name of our savior is going on here? These two heathens came up in here causing problems, yelling and cussing. They hurt our feelings. We had to tell them to get off their high camel and start showing us some respect and simmer down. What are your names? I am Lobster Claw and this is my wife Camille. She is cousin to your wife Ajda. We seek your protection and assistance. Lobster Claw and Camille, right. I won't forget your names. Throw them in the dungeon with that other crazy woman. 
Let me decide on what day I'll execute them. I have Rome to conquer, the Otorman Empire to destroy and the devil always getting in my way. I don't have time for this gibberish. Lobster Claw and Camille. Original names. Well, that will teach you. Coming up in here with your panties in an uproar. Flying off the handle like that. Don't let your bulldog mouth overload your hummingbird, but next time you want to spout off and blow our gasket. Right, let's go. The only protection you will get is from Trojan. Just keep on walking there. No funny business either. Coming up here causing problems. Well, tomorrow you will get yours all right. Please stop crying. What is wrong? Cut out with the code talk and plans to escape. There's hundreds of miles of desert between here and Timbuktu. So just accept the fact that you lost your head like some Karen and tomorrow you will lose your heads. Camille? Aggie, oh my god you are safe. Why are you doing this? We are just asking for assistance. There, that's what I'm talking about. Coming up in here with some hair up across your ass. Did a camel piss in your oatmeal this morning? Calm your ass down. You think the sun shines out of your ass or something? We got a pot of hot oil to take care of hot heads like you. Ladies, we don't have much time. Satan sent a weeping angel to transport them back in time. If I knew where they were I would go back and get them here. Where do you think they are? I am going to kick ass, taho or not. Someone better call their nay. Walang tae. The devil just make me angry. Ayoko na, si Satan. Na talaga. Si Raulo. Walang tae. My high blood. That is one pissed off Filipina. I feel sorry for you Satan. So what do you think about this so Winnie Poahan? I haven't seen Gretchen this mad since a bum tried to sneak out of her restaurant with a straw, toothpick and a napkin without asking. She was so mad that she beat him into giving her a year's supply of tissues. Oh, I feel sorry for the devil especially if Violent A gets involved. I am angry. I haven't been this angry since I hear Mr. and I use that term loosely while was looking at Guitar's ass. I don't know who he was, but I beat him up so good Gretchen asked me to go in halves on a MMA dojo. Filipina Thai MMA, we are the ones asking the questions or five across the lips. I'm angry now. It's hard to say. If they went to the Middle East and met me then I would know. Wait. I know where they are. Driving me up the wall and such. I haven't seen anyone blow such a gasket. That is the straw that broke the camel's back. I'm about to have a camel up in here. Who do you think you are coming here jumping down my throat going all postal and end? Driving me bananas man, just out for blood, making my blood boil. Let me in. I need to talk to these people. You need to learn to talk to people nice and stop going ballistic and having conniptions. Watch the one in the dress. He's got a mouth and a half on him. Doesn't think please and thank you applies to him. I was talking to you. Now I need to take these three back to the future and perform a wedding. I don't have time for your gibberish. Goodbye, adios and au revoir parting is such sweet sorrow. But these are the chosen ones. What in the name of screaming Jay Hawkins just happened? They even took the camel. Well we're back with not a minute to spare. Quickly everyone, change into your wedding clothes. We don't have a minute to waste. What's with the camel? You smell like tondo. Mabaho. Lobster Claw won it. Well took it. From a highwayman trying to rob us and steal me. Lobster Claw. Hit him over the head with a piss clam. Knocked him out. Called him the son of a motherless goat and we were off. We got these cool clothes too. I'm getting tired of this satan. You are supposed to be this man who gets things done. You've been at it for how long? Now do something. I want a trip to Singapore. You are nothing but a third-rate semino celebrity who is washed up. You promised me a trip. You are so stupid. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Go ahead, do it again. Do it again. I swear I'll knock that smile off your face. Marriage is an institution. Let me remind you of Isa Corinthians Labintatlo, Apat Tandang Bawas Pito. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. 
It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. And in John labing apat na oras dalawampu't pito minuto, peace I leave with you, and my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Now, I ask, is there anyone who objects to this marriage? Speak now or forever keep your yap shut. I do. How dare you marry her? It's me Camille you are supposed to marry. What in the name of the King of Friot's Durian is going on here? This is going to be good. It's about time you got off your ass and died something. I'm tired of you half-assing everything. It's all preparation and knowledge with you all the time. She is an imposter, sent by the devil to marry you so we can't marry. I am you betrothed, the one you will marry. Not some succubus assawang. Yes, I will marry you. You heard me. I said yes. Give me the ring. Not so fast you harlot, succubus aswang. Not so fast here. Not so fast. You said I was going to be succubus, not that girl. I'm her mother. I get first dibs. Well, who are you going to marry? Me or this harlot? Hurry up and choose. Well sir, I'm only paid for 30 minutes. If I may throw in MY2 centavos, marry both of them, and it's double your pleasure and double the fun. You are not going to listen to him are you? That is so stupid. Only me and you forever. Let's get on with this so we can consummate this marriage. My biological clock is ticking. I'm down with it. All three of us. One bed. What do you say? I'll take the skinnier and freakier of the two. Only we shall marry off with you imposter. How dare you do this to me after all we've been through. You marry someone willing to share your bed with another woman, after what we went through the last month. You make me sick. I won't let you marry that succubus. Away a swang before a copre drops a rock on you. Fine then. He isn't my type anyways. I'm tired of this shit. Have a good life losers. That was a first. Do you come will take lobster claw to be your lawfully legally and most sincerely husband? I do. Do you, lobster claw take Camille to be your lawfully spouse that you will love obey and treasure until you die? I do a million times over. You may now kiss the bride. I pronounce you man and wife. You told me they wouldn't get married and I would get Amu trip to Singapore. You are like a septic tank. Full of shit. I'd bite my lip if I were you. So how did you know it was me? Easy, only you and I knew we were married in Bethlehem 600 years ago. We consummated our marriage then. She wanted to hurry up and marry to Khan Su mate the marriage now. Then you said go ahead and marry both of you. You said you would only say it in jest. I love you forever, my Asawa Ko. Ladies and gentlemen, let me be the first to introduce to you, Mr. and Mrs. Lobster Claw. I want you to know, with everything you've faced in the past few episodes, that nothing is going to tear you apart. God will bless both of you a million times over and the best is yet to come so would you like to have a few words for your guests and family? Camille, I just want to say, I couldn't have found a more beautiful wife. I will die for you, I will fight for you, I will sing for you. Like the time I slayed the dragon at Abdu Ri Sabr and slayed the two-headed snake at Trushul Abysmia and Benjin. My love for you is immeasurable, no end. Even though we have been married for almost 400 years. You are as beautiful as the day I met you. Now everyone. Let's get pissed. Hit the music, Stevie S. All right. Yes, I. Stevie S is back one more time. Live and direct. This one is called Come Go With Me. Back to Bimini, y'all. Listen here. Watch it. Do it. When I saw you fight, I knew you were the one for me. You were very fine, very true, and so sexy. Saw you watching me from straight across the room. I knew you was the one, I knew I had to take you home. Been to Elusa, been to Inagra, been to Long Island, and Grand Bahama, and Walker Street. Come go with me, 
Sorry to interrupt such a memorable moment, but I wanted to wish the new couple a happy wedding and let them know one thing. I've done everything to stop this marriage, to no avail, so I have a proposition for you. Camille, I have your mother here. If you don't divorce or annul this marriage, your mother will be sent to the eternal fires of hell. The choice is yours. You have until next week's episode to tell me what you want to do. You have no option. Here she is, your mother. Ha ha ha. What have you got to say now, mother? What nothing, a cat got your tongue or something. This is a first, I had to put a sock into it to shut you up for one moment. And I can still hear you complain. Your voice drives me nuts. It's nice to have silence, but it still pierces through my ears. Shut up, will you for once? Camille, seven days. Thank you. You can proceed with this so-called marriage. Don't worry Camille, we'll get your mother back. Just like the time I held up the wall at Jericho so you could escape being crashed. I will be your hero. I need to get my mother back and we have about 15 seconds before Dick Nose comes back to stir up some shit. I don't know why you want to rescue her after all the shit she stirred up over a trip to Singapore. I know, but she is still my mother. Camille, your time is up. What are you going to do? Let your mom burn in hell, or divorce Huckleberry here, marry Beelzebub, Ave your mother and most importantly disband the ghost cousins. Or all of the above? You better think quickly, I don't have time for this gibberish and jabberwocky. My patience is running thin. Well, say something. I don't have all day. I have a bingo game and an election to rig. What is it? Well, you are getting on my damned nerves. I'm about to go completely Gretchen Barreto on your sorry ass. I'll tell you what the tan. Bring two of your best fighters and I'll bring two of my best fighters. When I win my mother will be freed and you, go, goo, go play on a freeway. You are getting on my damned nerves. If I lose you can keep my mother and I will divorce my husband of 400 years and marry Dickless. Wait, what? What did you say? Yes, that flock of seagulls has no dick. Well it looks like we got a deal. Your divorce or your life. When I'm done with you, the way you dress will qualify you for the old age pension. I knew that was Adam Ant, now I have evidence. Stop calling me Adam Ant. Well, you just did steal those lyrics, or I should say plagiarize, them from Adam Ant's smash hit stand and deliver. Making you either a plagiarist or Adam Ant, WHT is it Mr. Goody to shoes. Shut up, I'm not Adam Ant. Why do you have to keep saying that? Well, she does have a point. Being part of the music industry, plagiarism is the lowest form of scum there is. I'd be ashamed of myself if I were you. Shut up, shut up, just shut up. Now he's plagiarizing the Black Eyed Peas. So original. Don't make me mad. If you make me mad, you LL wish that you had not. You LL wish that you had not. You be 40. He doesn't know when to stop. No, he doesn't. Makes me want to vomit. Just stop the two of you. It's been established already Satan is a plagiarist and a party pooper. When we going to have this epic battle? I'm tired of sitting around here watching you play with yourself. Now let's get it on or just let my mom Camille, go. Camille, you okay? Calm down. I'm pissed and don't let me get mad at you or I'm going to kill you in bed tonight. And that is a good thing. Now when is it, Satan? I'm done peddly fooding around here. I'm here to eat Teho and kick ass and I'm all out of Teho. You plagiarized that from the live and rowdy rowdy piper. Jeez, call me a plagiarist. Okay, since you just want to pussyfoot it around the topic. Next episode. You name your three fighters and I'll name my two. It's on like Donkey Kong, a mosh pit of delight. So what's it going to be? Live at the Wiscasset Square Garden comes the fight of the century. It's time to take sides. Team Camille. Or Team Satan. 
The war to settle the score. It's Tejo versus the Molo. Who will come out on top? See you there. Thank you for joining this week. Please come back next week for more exciting episodes. As always, please like and subscribe. See you next week. Okay, Everyody, that's a wrap.